Baskerville is a play that is based on Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Hound of the Baskervilles, probably the greatest or maybe one of the two or three greatest adventure stories ever written, in my opinion, along with Treasure Island and maybe Kidnapped. Um, it is a play that tells the story as Conan Doyle wrote it, but it does so with five actors. There is an actor who plays Holmes, an actor who plays Watson, and then there's three other actors who play all the other 40-some characters needed to tell the story of the Hound of the Baskervilles. So it's, it's a, really a lark, a kind of a hoot. Uh, the audience is in on the conspiracy. I wouldn't say that it's a joke because we take it very seriously. Tell the story as best we can with loads of doubling. Uh, in this case, I thought it would be fun to make that doubling, that sense of joyous um, uh, energy part of the play. So the doubling is the essence of the play. One of the reasons I wrote Baskerville is because I thought this story was innately theatrical. It's a classical story. It's a, I'm u known for writing comedies, I think, in general. And mysteries are, are a kind of comedy. In a mystery, you might be in a perfect little English village or th the precursor to the mystery is a calm, ordered society. But then you throw everything into the air, probably when the murder happens, and, and nothing fits together. Think of it as a jigsaw puzzle. And then over time, all the pieces fall down together and fit back together and lock, and we feel a sense of stability and peace, and we can take a deep breath and go, okay, all is right with the world again. That's how comedies work as well. It's the very same kind of feeling, especially the kinds of comedies that I tend to write, which are more muscular, have a good deal of action in them. So when I approached it, I thought stylistically, what can I do with it? Uh, I love, I'd seen 39 Steps not too long before, which I adore. I think it's just a terrific play. Uh, and the style uh, that was adopted for that was again to have a very small cast and have a lot of doubling and make doubling part of the joy of the piece. And I thought, I love that. I, I just like, it was exuberant, it was joyful, it made the story tick right along. You didn't have to over explain things. You could keep the action going all the time. That's really one of the really nice things. And, and therefore, it's not just about Holmes and Watson and, and the mystery but it becomes in its own way a little tour de force. It becomes about the theater. And that's, and that's when it really hooked me. The idea grew, I liked it, but when I realized that it was becoming a story about theater, about the making of theater, just as much as, as it was about Holmes and Watson, I was hooked. And I went, I know what I'm writing. I like this. Mm -hmm.